Hi! In this video we will see how to create this plate using Rhino Emboss. All the curves were previously created, some of them already grouped as well, and as you can see this group of curves was defined to be applied in a single operation, the same in here, and after defining all the curves, I can start with Rhino Emboss. So when I click on this icon, I need to define the project settings. So here I can define the measures, the resolution, the cap type, in this case core, all the settings, and then check here. And finally we have Rhino Emboss in this side panel, and we can start defining all the reliefs. So we are going to start with a new operation and in this icon I'm going to define operation type extrude so operation type extrude I need to select the curve to extrude in this case this is the curve enter and now I can define with the gumball or in the project settings the extrusion distance in this case let's try with 3.5 and refresh to check the results okay in this case I'm going to find a little bit more 5, millim five millimeters refresh okay and now one more operation in this case operation type by profiles and the curves I'm going to select these two circles and I can adjust the gumball in this case I'm going to hide previous gumball and hide the results to adjust the gumball exactly as we need in this case 8 let's type 2.5 ok and show and finally refresh to check the results ok the profile was successful added and now one more operation once again operation type by profiles and the curves I'm going to select these two curves and the same process I need to adjust the gumball I will hide the results and adjust the gumball with these arrows and now the profile is I'm going to define two millimeters and refresh to check the results okay the profile was successful created and now I can hide the gumballs remember if I press shift I hide all the gumballs and one more operation operation type by profile and the curve will be this group and also this group now I press enter and I need to adjust the gumball once again I hide the results to adjust the gumball in this case I will try other profile so in here I can define this profile and of course adjust the, the distance the 8 Just double click to define 2 millimeters and now just need to show and refresh to check the results okay as you can see the operation was successful added to the previous ones and now I'm going to add one more operation Uh, this case operation type by extrude and the curve I'm going to select this outside curve so I select the curve define the distance I want one millimeter extrusion distance and refresh to check the results Okay, the extrusion was successful created and once again I'm going 
to hide the gumball add one more operation operation type by profile and the curve I'm going to select this and these groups so now I select the profile I can hide to see the profile okay distance I'm going to define 1.5 and now refresh show and refresh to check the results okay now remember we can increase the resolution to have better results of course and once again a new operation operation by profile and the curve I'm going to select this group and also this group so once again I hide the results to adjust the profile distance 1.5 and refresh to check the results okay the profiles were successful created you know I'm going to add one more operation once again by profile this one and all these curves okay I can select also this and in this case refresh okay the operation was successful created can hide the gumballs and add one more operation by profile and the curves this one I will use in this case the option subtract so I just adjust the gumball and the 8 5.5 and refresh to check the results okay the operation was successful created and now of course I can increase the, the resolution of the project in this case I will keep it this way and finally after defining all the operations I can check in here to calculate the mesh results at this moment Rhino Emboss is calculating the mesh and before add the mesh to the document it will open the decimator if we want to reduce the resolution so it's calculating all the results okay now with the decimator we can reduce the mesh density if needed of course in this case I'm going to keep the original mesh resolution and in this case I will just check here to add the results to the document okay the mesh was successful created just changing the display mode to render it and as you can see here we have the results in the bottom the flat as we have defined it and this is the idea define the operations and apply the mesh in the document I hope
hope you like it. Thanks for watching.